Hi everyone, I'm Nyx and today I'm chilling with The Witcher 3. In this video we are going to go and see if we can find out what happened to Ciri in Skellige. I'm currently in Kedrild as you can see. And Yennefer's gone to this big old blast that happened. Got me eye on you. And we're going to go and join her. However, as per usual, there are some things that I want to do first. Ain't nothing quite like a witch. How do- thank you, I think. How do I get out of here? Oh, I'm like right back at the start again. I wonder if I can go back in, but I'm not going to. Me little Logan's birthday tomorrow. I have no clue what to give her. Maybe a Aww. nice little axe. Pretty like. An axe? Are you serious? Why not? I'd like it. <laughs> White as death you are. Too much drink. You keep saying that. Oh, I really want to go down into that mine. <sighs> I feel like it would be a really bad idea though. Yeah, that, that's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. I'll come back later. Will you keep loitering, bothering folk? What is it? Trying to take the bus, my good man. So, there's a couple of things. This is going to sound really uh, out of the blue, but when I first arrived in Skellige, I found some dead bodies around here. And I kind of wish that I'd gone a bit further and explored this area and seen if there was actually something going on. And I didn't. And I don't know if maybe like the guards took them out and that's why I found their bodies. But I just want to go back. Just in case there was something there that I missed. Because you never know. And my quest today is to find out. I'm also going to go back to the shore where I first arrived because apparently there's a lot of loot in there and I didn't loot anything and that was silly of me. Hey there. Come take a gander. Hey there. I think I've talked to you before. Looking to buy? I don't know. Yeah, I've talked to you before. Bye bye. So long. Um I have been attacked by Oh, there's a person on a horse there. Maybe it's just these guys. But I just repeatedly attack me Give us all you got Ow Oh so maybe it was the guards because they were going to come and help me it seemed so mayhaps there was nothing. I need to stop button mashing because I always lose so much health doing that. But it's basically down here. Wait. Look at all those markings. I've got some birds. Horses. That's pretty amazing and I'm glad that I came back here just just to be able to see that that looks like a little birdie huh interesting ah why am I on fire oh did I walk through the f okay well that's just that's on me <laughs> Okay, where, where, where? It is down here, isn't it? I think so. It must be because that's the crossroads. So I'm going to go to the crossroads and then down from there. Oh, it's a little doe. Okay, I'm out of the crossroads. And I think... I want to go down this way. Oh, there's some drowners down there. Is this where I crashed? Oh, we've got a monster nest. Oh, there's a lot of you. Oh, 
There we go. Right, where's the nest? Drowners Here. are coming out of there. Best blow it up. Best. Oh, another one. I keep doing the wrong one. I'm meant to be using Igni, but I keep using Axie by accident. Accident. Oh dear, the puns. Um, I'm not sure where I am or where I'm meant to be. Maybe it was down here? I think I'm going to have to swim. Because I am very lost. Ooh. Well, that doesn't look right either. Why am I getting lost? I remember this village. Maybe it was down here. I tell you what, that's very possible. I kind of want to keep going into this crevice though, because... Is there something behind... Tell me, please tell me there's something behind here. That would be a resounding no. And I'm disappointed. Oh, wait, look, there. That's the, that's the boat. Or a boat, but that's the boat that we found. So it's definitely there. Now I just have to swim. Uh, are they sirens? Is that what I came across? They look like wyverns. all an axe. I definitely should have looted all of this when I first arrived, shouldn't I? My bad. <laughs> Apparently, according to some of the comments, I could have gotten back. Wait, there's more money over there. More money, more loot. And a lot of... Oh. I have a feeling these are... Yep, they're sirens. I'm not here. Don't even worry about it. Never mind. Can't see them properly. Don't like that. At least we seem to have some kind of battle music. Where is this nest? Oh, it's on the ship. All right. This is the ship. Siren Den. Gotta ruin it for them. Sorry. We're gonna have another one come as well, like the last time. Yep. 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 That didn't work. Okay, just gotta wait for them to... There we go. Oh, come on. Ow. I... Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Oh, I leveled up. I leveled up. Okay, okay. <laughs> I gotta run around a bit. Because, oh my god. Why didn't I loot this before? I was so excited by just reaching the island and reaching a new place. What can I hear? I can hear something. I don't like that sound. Also, this sideways ship has given me some real bad um, motion sickness. <laughs> don't like it. I want to be right side up again, please. I'm going to go and see if I can find out what on earth that sound is. It also seems to be showing... Look! Hmm. Magic. Uh. A place of power. That's such a cool place to put that. 
Gib. I have an ability point. Anything else? Hmm. So apparently I could have gotten my gold back if I had looted it straight away, but lo and behold, I was way too excited to just be here. So my money has gone and that's fine. Because to be fair, I have a lot of money. I also had a recommendation for uh, ability point usage. Undying. When vitality reaches zero, adrenaline points will be will immediately be consumed to restore it. The amount restored is based on the number of adrenaline points used. Oh, that's interesting. How do I get adrenaline points? I don't think I understand. So I need to get this one first, don't I? Unless I don't. I don't. Okay. Question is, where would I want to put it? Arrow deflection is really good. I think for now I'm going to swap this one out. And pop that one in because it seems like a really good way of me not dying as much. Which would be nice. I'd appreciate that. Right. Now I'm going to go back to... Where am I going? The crossroads. What on earth is that sound? Oh, goodness me, more of them. Yeah, crossroads and then to whatever bus stop is closer. I could walk there, but I don't think, I think right now I just want to get on with it because I've done a lot of exploring already. Okay, we're going to Blandair. Unusually for a Skelga village, Blandair is lo located inland, far away from any shore. Its inhabitants scratch out a living through mining and shepherding. I've been there before. That's the one that had the miners. And then I'm just gonna... You must be prospering around here, huh? Ooh. Heard there's silver in that? Uh, I'm gonna run gonna run away i think maybe i'll go via this this question mark because right. that makes sense uh, so easy to get it out. this place is so nice a messenger i knew if he felled himself to the hair with hooch he'd never make his long ship who are you talking about oh another traveling merchant come closer stranger that's creepy why would you say it like that looking to buy like I suppose. Oh, I've already talked to you. So long. Nilfgaard and Skellige. Never fucking thought I'd see the day. Wait, what? Watch yourself, white hair. Oh, there's prisoners of war here. More, damn it, more! Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> oh, look at that mountain range. I can't get over this. Just how beautiful it is. Uh, 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 uh. Praise be to, uh, to Freya, our great mother. They said the road was fraught with danger, that sea devils awaited any who travelled it, that a bandit lurked behind every tree. But I sacrificed a lamb to Freya and donned an army that made of falcon feathers. And lo and behold, I traversed the entire isle without so much as drawing my sword. And did find, and did some damned fine trade along the way. Packed my chest so full of silver and other treasures that back near my back near snapped, setting it on the wagon. If everything goes as planned, I'll be home by tomorrow around sunset. I owe the goddess mightily for the tender she's taking, tender care she's taking of me. Well, I'm afraid that no. Oh my goodness. Why? It keeps automatically like selecting one. I'm sure I'm pressing a button, but it's really annoying because it means that it, Geralt just won't hit any of the other ones. And I don't like it. Really not a fan of it at all. Is it in the lake? 
where presumably all of the other drowners probably are. Uh, I suppose I'm going into the bottom of a lake. I didn't know to take the other sword out. There it is. Freya be praised. Hmm. She didn't really, uh... Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wowie, wow, wow. That'd be a lot. That'd be a lot of loot. And it's all mine now. Wait, that wasn't all of it? Oh. Well, never mind. I'm back. But I don't see more of it. Wait, never mind, there's something up there. What's that? That's a white bear! That's a... Is that a, is it a polar bear? Or is it a bear that hasn't loaded in properly? Sorry, right, buddy. Why is it still showing that there's something else? Have I... I can't tell if this is bugged out or not. Because I have certainly gotten the treasure. And yet, it still seems to be suggesting that I haven't. And so, what? There's something up here. Well, I can't work out for the life of me what I'm missing. I'm going to come back to that later. Because I found the treasure and it's not updated. Moving on. Skeleton. Skeleton's been picked clean, but there's something next to it. A mysterious map. <gasps> Ooh. Now hear me out. Is it me? Or does that look suspiciously like... Oh no, it has got a little town at the top of it, so maybe it's not that. Huh. Another distraction. No. Oh, there's so many distractions. Where did you even come from? Ow, ow. You're mean. Oh, they are so loud. Right, can we stay on track for like two minutes? Is that okay? I'm sure there was a road that I was taking that I... Oh, well, there's a road here. That's something, I guess. It's on the road again. What's this? Oh, this is the site. Oh, we're here. We're here. Everybody say calm. We're here. Druid's You're camp. Mad, woman. Mad, I say. Maybe, but I've got good reason. I hold Siri dear too. You know this. Damn well! But the mask of Orberus is no trifle! Have you any idea what could happen if it is used? Any idea? No, but of I will. Here. No, but neither oh. do you. So stop mm. panicking. Can hear you two clear on the other side of the island. Good! May all Skellige know Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief! Control yourself, Druid! I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive and all the Isles with us. Oh! Let's be honest. Chances are he's not overreacting. <laughs> what are you talking about? Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? 
Might have expected as much. I know, right? The is that Urborus created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Urborus made the mask which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. Ah. Uh. Geralt, honey, why would we ask if anyone's ever used it? When he's just explained it's only got one use. Where do you get this mask? Sailors from Clan Dimmon pulled it from the sea, near the Njord Trench. Yeah, but how can you be sure this is Urboros's mask? Its appearance is exactly as described in the myths. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. <sighs> ah. We've got Crack's position permission, but not to take the mask. That's different. Wait, is Yennefer trying to peer into the past with the blast? Because that, we could just look around at least. Um, I'm going to say she did it for Siri. On the one hand, a theft. On the other, Siri's life. I also care deeply for the girl. I proposed a series of mm. other methods. Yennefer refused to listen. I'll listen. She claimed they would take too long. Whereas she wants, she needs immediate results. She has always been hot-headed. True. At least this time she's got a valid reason for it. Never mind that she might bring... Oh, I have a bad feeling she's already what? used it. What was that? No. Shit. Jennifer's used the mask. Oh, shit. Quickly, follow me. We must neutralize the mask. Mute its power. Ella? That's... This isn't good. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a bunch of wolves. Oh, there's a druid there. Where the hell is she? Oh, crap. Oh. Great. This isn't good, Yennefer. Talk to me first. Damn it, Yen. I saw the foglets. I meant how they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. Why not talk to me first? Tell me literally anything. Ermion says the mask might cause a natural disaster. Fortunate he's here then. He can jump right in, try to tame it. <sighs> Realize he won't let this pass. Oh, I'll survive somehow. I think it's a bit silly not bringing Geralt in, but if I was in Yennefer's position with Yennefer's power, there's a chance I'd do the same. So I'm not sure. I think it was really shitty of her not to tell Geralt what was going on or consult him first. Otherwise, I don't know, dude. What now? The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Hmm. Take it. Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Uh, let's just let's go. <laughs> well, let's go. This way. Already found the first spot. Should I not put it on? It's like, do I not need to put it on? Oh, it's already on me, but why can't I see it? Interesting. 
interesting. God, this place is pretty much raised to the ground. This is the spot. Oh, I see Put it. On the mask. Any instructions? Keep it on until we've seen everything. And don't stray far. Telepathy is limited in range. Oh, okay. Use the mask. Oh. Oh, interesting. Uh-oh. Oh, do I need to hold it down? What's that? A portal? Two people emerged from it. Ah, I can the see woman that. was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved, like a witcher. Mm. Seems they went that way. Come, let's find the next spot. Okay. But who? Maybe it was the elven mage, because we couldn't find him before. But which way did she go from here? Oh, never mind. You the oh, come on. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Well, ready? Use the mask. Oh, here? Okay. Oh shit, that's a lot of people. Watch out! Oof. What was that? Hmm. A magic explosion of some sort. So powerful that even the echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. So it but wasn't Siri. And her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. See, I thought it was Place Siri. Is creepy. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Nor do I. Anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. Siri can take care of herself. Taste this. See, I feel like it must have been Siri that released so much energy, but that seems to suggest that it was the person she was with. I'm a little bit confused, but I guess I'm meant to be. Don the mask. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Wait, Someone was that the- chased Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Velen. Any chance you can figure out where Siri's companion fled to? His portal's got to be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. So was that? I want to just say that again. Was that not her companion then? So she had a separate companion? No, she had a companion. But they got separated, she got attacked, and she escaped through a portal. Is that right? Seems to be the case. Well, ready? Yep. Use the mask. Using it. Nice fight. One repelled the other with powerful magic, then fled through a portal. A mage? Most likely. It's the elven mage, isn't it? Has to be, right? It's Siri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Siri's got a powerful ally. An elven mage. Where did the mage flee to? The mage who was with Siri fled too. Know where? Hmm. His trace path leads to Velen as well. But the target coordinates of his portal differ from those of Siri's. The explosion must have disrupted his teleportation. Hmm. Ran into Kira Metz in Velen. Coincidence, maybe, but she claimed a mage came to her looking for Ciri. Be surprised if it wasn't the same one. Whoever he is, he grows more interesting by the minute. So it seems like it was the other mage. Would I be correct in assuming that this happened before Velen? So she was here in Skellige. This happened. She took the portal to Velen and then she met the Bloody Baron and then went to Novigrad and then escaped. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. 
Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with oh. yourselves? <laughs> Look at what you brought down on us. If someone's death were to help you find Siri, would you start making human sacrifices as well? Uh. I mean, me and no. Those two. I don't know. Relax. Storms died down. You've clearly got things under control. For now. But who knows what yeah. will be a week or two on? Stop panicking. Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. It's a bit wobbly, wouldn't it? Learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. You I'll deal with later. So? Well. <laughs> uh, I'll start with this one. We think a powerful curse was cast here. Mm. Plausible. Considering what happened to the wood. Yeah. Do you know upon whom? Not yet. But we know Ciri was here. She stepped out of a portal. A mage was with her. Someone chased them. They fought. Ciri was wounded but managed to escape. Where to? Velen, probably. The mage opened a portal for her, then he fought her attacker. Yes? Yes. Is that it? Uh, no. But I haven't got there yet. I feel found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. He went flying in that direction. Yeah, but where? Look for a body. There's one. Nope, it's a tree. <laughs> Something's pinned under that tree. Can you... I can. What tree? This one? Wow. Armor's clean. No blood, mm. no sword nicks. Ciri's friend must have... What do you call it? That looks like... Him. Exquisite. The armor. Though the workmanship's unfamiliar. It looks like the Wild Can't Hunt, doesn't it? Where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a writer of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true. The Wild Hunt, I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? Uh, do I tell him? Uh, yeah, I do. He knows Elder her. Elder blood flows in Ciri's veins. <sighs> Tis true, she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Duran, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Well, apparently! She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is no obstacle for her. Ah. <laughs> Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. Yeah. That's interesting. Wild Hunt is on Speaking Hindersfjall. Speaking of the hunt, mentioned it appeared on Hindersfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the cataclysm struck here on Ard Skellig. So the raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. The White Blizzard. It's a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders said the wraiths... They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women, and an old man. <sighs> Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Fortnight, that must have been how long it took for Siri to go from Velen to Novigrad back to here again. I... I will see you there. Mm hmm See you there. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. In Ciri's footsteps. Okay. Oh, missing persons. Okay. Though Ermion was incensed, no druidic pun intended. At Yennefer and Geralt's theft and desecration of an ancient artifact, he was willing to put his anger aside to help them find Ciri. He told them of the hunt's recent destruction on the village of Lofoten. Geralt and Yennefer knew at once that it could not have been a chance attack. Ciri. They went to look for her. 
So whereabouts is that? Oh, that's over there. Okay. Oh, I don't know what point. <laughs> this is so difficult. Trying to work out how to structure videos when I don't know what's going to happen next is really, 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 really difficult. To be completely honest, I think I'm going, I think the best course of action is to continue with the main quest. Mostly because a lot of the side quests, aside from those two, most of the side quests and contracts are quite high level. So I feel like the game itself is directing me to continue with the main quest and then spend a bunch of time exploring the rest of the rest of Skellige. So I think I'm going to try and take the bus if I can actually work out how to get out of this place. I should probably put a marker down. As I said, it's always very difficult to work out how to structure the videos because I don't know what's going to happen next. You know, I have a general idea of it, uh, which was a couple of videos on the main quest, do some exploring, go back to Novigrad, exploration video, um, get some more side quests and contracts done there, and then come back and continue the main quest. But I, I really want to know what happens next and what happened to Siri because we've we've seen what happens before what happened before she I've got to Belen <laughs> and she's now back <laughs> from Belen to or from no Novograd to Skellige and it's just not enough for me I need to know what's going on and we've got a notice board so hopefully we'll find some more stuff there this could be a terrible idea or a great idea we're about to find out. Simeo is the loading screen. Hold that. Hold. Hold that thought for just a second. I just need to check something very quickly. The loading screen is an Ouroboros. Like the little loading. Look. Look. Ready? I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Eventually. Look. Down there. It's a little Laura Boris. I never noticed that before. I recognize your type a mile away. A merchant? Hello? Greetings. Looking to buy? This is also my first time on Hindusfjall, so. This is also exciting. What do you have? You can play Gwen. I can sell you stuff. That's good. Um, I don't want that one. I'll keep the other one. The other boot, the other tunic, just in case. You never know when you might need it. And once again, I know that I can make more money if I sell it to certain people, but like this is 25 crowns. I don't really mind getting it for that instead of 30 crowns or something. The ones that are a few hundred, maybe. There we go. Poifik. Still need to use the poker. Po po poker? Whatever it's called. Right, let's play some Gwen. Rounds of cards. Please tell me the Gwen music is back. I do. It's back. We have Gwen music again. I think I'm quite happy with that hand. Northern Realms. I might change out the Bite and Frost. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is bring out this little guy because if I use a spy card while I have him in my hand and it brings the other one, then I'm going to be really annoyed. Why so dramatic? Um, yeah, I'm going to use it now. I know that I'm probably going to lose the first one anyway. Another spy card. Don't mind if I do. That's okay, I don't mind. 
because I'm going to use the other one anyway. Okay. This is so roundabout. We're just going to be playing the spy cards back and forth for a while now, aren't we? You passed. Well, that's good. Because I'm going to play this again. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. I'm sure that they have um, health, you know, being able to bring people back. So I'm sure that they'll use that now. That's okay, because I also have one of them. I have to win this one. How, though, is the question. I think I'm going to use some of the Black Sun ones, because that guarantees a little better. Uh-oh. Yeah, sure. Let's do the same thing. And the music! The music is back. The proper one. Oh, he passed. Uh, yeah. Fine by me. This music just makes Gwen so much better. So much better. I love it. Can't get enough of it. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I knew you were going to do that. I don't have any decoys. Oh well. I'll take it. The only thing I'm worried about is if they have a Scorch. Because I know that I have a Scorch. Or I would do. So I'm not going to play both of these sets. So they don't double just yet. Just in case you do. I don't know what to use now. I suppose I'll just go with it. Just go for it. Come on, what have you got? No front line yet, which is frustrating. I think I'm just gonna have to go with this and bring the back line one out. Where are you? There you are. Four cards left. What have you got for me, Buccarino? Got to play Dandelion here. Really worried that they've got a Scorch. They would have used it now, surely. I'm going to use this one on the middle. This is looking more and more. I'm going to use my leader card now. 141. Clear weather card. And just for good measure, I'm going to play. What is it called? Villain Trettenmirth. Also calls himself Bork Three Jackdaws. He's not the best at names. No, you don't say. 155. That's a lot. A lot, a lot. I won. Yay. I got crowns. And I got a new card. Show me. Oh, a spy card. I don't think I have many spy cards in this deck yet compared to the other one. No, only the one. Got to sort out my other decks. At the moment, I really like my Northern Realms deck, so I'm going to stick with that. But that's very cool. 
What's going on here? Ah, an armor. How can I be of service? In times like these, don't pay to save coins on weapons. Oh, okay. Oh, you can pay cards as well. I... <laughs> Show me what you have. I don't know what you have, but I do have things to sell. I think I will leave that at that. I... I'm going to come back to playing cards. So long. It takes so long. And I don't want to bug every video down with like five Gwent games. But I will make a list and I will check it twice and I will find out who's playing Gwent. Okay, I have no idea what they said, but. Request from Bringood. My son, Gujal? Flood the battlefield. If you meet him, kill the coward and throw his naked corpse into the sea for the fish to feed on. Woof. Teach it for my daughter. Who will teach my daughter how to use a bow? The girl has, is already getting decent at sword and spear fighting, but she'll sooner gouge her own eye out with an arrow than it hit the target. Request from the Druids. Sons and daughters of Skellige. When you catch a shark, it is become, unbecoming to take only the fins and drop the rest into the sea. Such wastefulness is an insult to both gods and nature. The body of every killed creature, whether weasel or whale, has to be used in its entirety to the last bone and tendon. I agree, Amian. Here we go, here we go. Contract, monster on the high road. I need a hero, a man favored by the gods or a witcher. Anyone really who's not afraid to stand up to the ghastly creature who's been attacking folk walking the main road to Larvik. A reward's been set aside. If you don't fear death and long for fame and ballads, come see the village elder. Thorleaf, son of bear hogs. P.S. Svear you stay home. You've done enough as it is. Race for modern Freya's glory. Looking to worship Freya and prove your courage at the same time? Join the annual hero's pursuits. The priestesses and our goddess herself will shower you with gold and blessings. Let it be known that not everyone who takes part in our race will reach the finish line in one piece. So if you're a pregnant wife, if you've a pregnant wife, unfinished business or debts your honour bound to repay, think twice before straddling your mount. What does that mean? Contract Morkvarg. Sons and daughters of Freya, another year has passed in which Morkvarg plagues our goddess's gardens. Whoever musters the courage to eliminate this evil will gain fame amongst mortals and the favour of the immortals, as well as a prize from the temple's vaults. <gasps> the temples of Freya that's been closed for ages? Are you saying that I can go in there? I mean... Where? Oh... There's some that are... Mm, there's one. There's one that's a bit more my, my level. Now, the question is... Which way to go to get there? I feel like this is a temple. And... I want to, I think I want to go this way. Goodness knows how much I'm going to end up running into on the way. But. Should I take. Uh, beg your pardon. Should I take Roach? Sorry. I'm going to take Roach. I'm going to do some galloping. Oh, a new side quest. Oh. Level 15. Much more interesting. I might go, do those go. next. Whoa. Hold up a second. There's a... There's a bunch of stuff laying about here. Oh, more white wolves. Ah, uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's try it out. so many of them. Wolves are scary to fight because they all attack at different times. Yikes. I'm very low, 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 very low. There's one left. Oh, 
Oh, that was way too close for comfort. What's over there? That more wolves? Oh my goodness. Well, I'm going to loot and let my health go up a bit first. And I might actually have a nap. Because I really need my, um, my potions back. I don't look too good. Oh, these are just wild dogs? Hmm. Interesting. I feel like Ermi and the Druid would, um... Oh. That's really cool. I'd be very disappointed about the fact that I, um... I'm just looting their bodies and not doing anything else with them. But... On that note, we're off again. Sorry. I think there's a little village down here of some sort. Hoping there's not... Oh, it's an abandoned site. Okay. Oh, no, you know what I was going to do? I was going to meditate. I was going to meditate because I need... Uh, my health potions back. Oh, that's a body. What? Harpies. God damn it. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. One. Erin Erinia. Is that a different type of harpy? Did I not get all of them? Is there more of them somewhere? Oh, that's not good. Yep, yeah, there is. Oh, then. Come on, buddy. There we go. That should be all of them, right? Yes. Nice. Welcome back to your village. <laughs> look at him, look at him, please, with himself. This is like a little town. Kind of. A weakling, I this is, I think, much bigger than most of the... Like pickled herring? May I hit them? Most of the abandoned sites have a lot... Um, are a lot smaller. Did you just say... She just said Geralt of Rivia, our hero. Oh. Hello. Goodbye. Straight out of the other end. What's that? Rhea be with you. <gasps> and you. I'm gonna run the rest of the way, I think. These are the shores. Another abandoned site? How many of these are there? Isolated hut. Another uh, marker. That stench. No, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. Interesting that they're so close to each other. Another area is liberated. Oh, oh, it's just a little, it's just a hut with a little family. Cute. Greetings, stranger. What are you offering? I'd like to look at your choice of swords. Choice of swords, I see. Um, I don't want to buy your choice of swords. I don't really have much Farewell. left to sell at this point. 
Dale says them. Sparks. Bless them. Ancient runes in the blade. Bless them. Nah. What? Are you describing my my sword? Okay. How's that a dam? Damn. That's a dam. Oh, here we go. Hello. Greetings, Yen. Greetings. Good thing you're here. The frostbite was starting to set in. Sorry. To be fair, you should have worn warmer clothing. You should have dressed warmer. <laughs> Next, you'll be pinning mittens to my coat. You don't have a coat. Yeah. Quite a few years since I was last on Hindisfjall, but if I remember correctly, Lofoten should be this way. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited. I really hope we can go to the temple. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm. This must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. That's true. Grit, hun. They barely sprouted. And what if Craven told the truth? The grind they lie. What if he didn't abandon us? Livid, but was unharmed. <sighs> they won't speak of a brother. He was our brother in the blood. stars. We sailed on the same longship, sat oar to oar, raided yes, the black so much ones at the together. Same time. But when they attacked, he fled, abandoned his mum and sis, abandoned us all. Okay. Leaf, son of Eric, perished in glory. Kjal, they're son doing a perished in glory. Ritual, uh, funeral rites. Grass has grown over our loved one's graves. But they're Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. D uh, oh. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So. And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. Don't know if I agree with that. I feel like if you want to, if you want people to like you and share information with you you've, you've got to respect them as well oh let's start with that one they say the wild hunt destroyed this village that is true though few believe us you don't either i'm sure did you see riders on skeletal horses wearing frost covered armor aye that's how it was they landed on our shores in a ship made of the claws of dead men like in the ballads, hmm. Leif yelled to grab the children. Then they came, cut him across his face. He tried to whisper, only blood came out. Oof. You were to ask about someone, not prod their wounds. That's enough. What happened then? She doesn't like me. Oh. <sighs> I am six and two threes. I think that we need more information and it's going to hurt now, but we'll at least be able to move forward and hopefully help in other ways. I ran out to get help, to get Leif, but so many bodies. Yole, Ingvar, little Neki. Which way did the riders go? Towards the sea, through the ravine, on horses made of bones. Bones and ice and- Enough! Get to the point, now. Oh. oh, it must have been very traumatic. We're looking for a young woman, name of Ciri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry, she is not here. But you know her. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I've buried so many, I may have forgotten. This, this Siri, uh, has she a scar here mm -hmm. on her cheek? Yes. Yep. Yes, what happened to her? Don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before, before it all. She was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. 
Why? What was Siri doing here? Remember anything else? Anything at all? Only that she seemed tired. Very tired. And... And her hair was wet. Great. So we know she bathed. Progress. Or she landed out in there. Craven. My apologies. Craven. Craven could have told you more. What was she going to say? This Craven you mentioned, does he have a name? Oh. He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. <sighs> it's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. That's what did he do him. to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden oh. to fight Morkvag. Uh-oh. Yeah, well, he's clearly trying to a redeem himself. Who willingly seeks battle? Am I the only <laughs> one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the elders wrong only if he killed mm. Morkvarg. And thus regain his honor and his name. Trial by ordeal. Very skeligan. I do not mock your laws. Please also respect ours. I wasn't trying not to. Um, I know what Morkvarg is. I don't know if I know what Morkvarg is, but I have a quest for it. So I'm going to ask where. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Mm -hmm. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Whoa. Oh, I can ask both. Okay. Morkvarg. What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit oh. Skellige. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, Killed children, pregnant women. Mm -hmm. Know the type. They <sighs> said he feared only one thing the wrath of the gods. Morkvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, so he sailed to Hindusfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. My priestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. <sighs> As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him. And Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. Yep, sounds my sounds like my kind of work. I can get rid of Morkvarg. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvarg, yet he always returns. <sighs> so it's a complex curse. Meaning I need more information. I understand, but I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Okay. Thank you for your help. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. Yep. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. That's fair. But so be it. Thank Custom you. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. <laughs> Witcher. Am I not meant to go to Larvik and talk to someone first? Yeah, see that one. Talk to Einar about the curse, find the garden where the monster dwells. But the main quest just says go to the garden. So I think I'm going to have to do this one first. Talk to Einar about the curse and then... go back up here you know what i think we're going to continue that in the next Sweet video mother. it's interesting so far really interesting 
being able to see where Siri was before going to Villain and after coming back from Novigrad. But it sounds like... So she must have disappeared after the Wild Hunt attacked. But she talked to Craven, whoever the Craven is, first. Which is why we need to talk to the Craven to work out what she was. talked about. I recognize your type a mile away. Lots going on. Lots going on. Many quests and side quests and contracts. Hopefully I will be able to do some of them soon. I don't know at what point I need to... Oh, I should um, let, take a break <laughs> from the main quest. I feel like this just flows so well. I do really want to do a little bit more here. I really want to go to the lighthouse. That's basically it. I just want to go to the lighthouse. But as I said, I think I'm going to leave this one here and pick it up in the next video. And hopefully find out where Siri's gone next and what's going on. But oh lordy, do I have a lot of other quests to be going on with. So I might change my mind by the next time I film. Uh, who knows? But for now, I, um, I hope that you're enjoying this playthrough as much as I'm enjoying playing through it. Take care of yourself. And whenever the next video is, I will see you there. Bye.